good to be with you today. I wanted to talk about opening your feet. Yeah, opening your feet to really ground down into what you love. Meaning, <laughs> right now is a time where we can feel really uprooted and um, be in a lot of fear because of the chaos of what's going on around us. And so it's more important than ever to really connect deeply to this earth, <laughs> the place that you stand, but do it in love. Like if you, um, you know, love your family, ground into that. If you love your work, ground into that. If you, gr if you love to paint, ground into that. Meaning do it, be with it, immerse yourself in it so that all this stuff that's going on around us doesn't uproot you so that you can stay in a place of calm, rooted groundedness, no matter what's going on. So if you want to join me for this, we're going to do a couple of little moves. You're going to grab a golf ball or some size ball, smaller, the better, because um, it's the bottom of our feet. So you know, if we use a really big ball, we can't get into these little crevices. We've got a lot of joints and um, ligaments and tendons and some muscles in there. And so it really requires uh, a little bit of a smaller ball. So I'm placing the ball on the bottom of my right foot and I'm just rolling around. You can do this standing, you can do it laying down. It doesn't really matter. Standing is a little more challenging, but that feels really good too. You also, as you um, sit, you can add some weight forward, especially as you find something. And just stay into those places that are tender. Be curious about what that pain is and breathe. In through your nose and out through your mouth saying ha, because <laughs> ha converts everything to love. So release the chaos of this time, convert it to love and root into what you really love. Like I love to swim. It seems like that's not a rooting practice, but it is so much for me. And um, we just recently had a shark attack. One of my neighbors got bit. And so I stayed out of the water for four days and I felt really ungrounded. And so I went in yesterday with six of my friends <laughs> so that we could help each other out in case it's an eight to ten foot tiger shark <laughs> and the woman who got bit fought it off with her flipper so we thought well we can all help each other out there right but in the time that i wasn't swimming i felt uprooted and like a little bit shaky because that is something i really love and if i ground into it every day if you keep rolling on the bottom of your right foot by the way then I'm uh, less able to be uprooted and go off into something that I don't love, which there's a lot that I don't love when I hear of things that are happening, the wildfires in California, the COVID, the mm, political stuff, no loving any of that, then I can get uprooted into it if I don't ground into what I love. Now I'm really opening my feet here and it feels really good. This is my right foot. Right is dad's ancestral line. So really what you're rooting down into is your beginning, the um, you know footprints that you stepped into to take your walk on this earth and right is your dad's ancestors. You know, and it might be that you love what they loved. I know that I am really connected to my dad's ancestral line. They were, um, they grew their own food. <laughs> I love that. Well, big time, I love to garden and have produce. Like here we live with um, all the lemons and limes and avos and mangoes and bananas. And we're so fortunate and I love every bit of it. And I'm so happy to have that as a part of my life. Now, once you've kind of um, awakened your right foot, switch to your left. Now, as soon as I put that right foot down on the earth, I can feel, I can feel it. I can feel the sole of my right foot on the floor and I don't feel that very often. So when we wake up the bottoms of our feet, 
we wake up these deep roots that can help us ground deeply down into what we love so we don't lose that and get uprooted into these chaotic times. Yeah. And my left foot, mom does, that's Jelani. And it's always, mm, you know, good to assess like which foot hurt more, where was the pain, just always being curious because pain and tension speaks to us. And the pain and tension on the bottom of your feet is speaking to you of where your weaknesses may be that you might get uprooted. So it might be like you're in a spot and you're like, oh, what is that? You could go get a reflexology chart and look it up. It might be like kidneys. And it, kidneys are a fear organ, you know? So be curious, look these things up. You are here to get to know yourself. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody else is going to get to know you like you get to know you. It just doesn't work that way. So you might as well get to know you. What do you love? Get to know that. And root deeply into it. And don't let anything uproot you. Right? All right. A couple more deep breaths in and out here as we roll on the bottom of that left foot, just waking that left foot up so it can bring those little roots all the way down into what we love. Now when you've had enough, just set your golf ball aside and you're going to come to all fours. Hands at the shoulders, knees under hips. And I'm taking my toes under and I really round like a Halloween cat and I start to make circles with my hips like I'm going to sit on my heels but I've changed my mind. Ah, yeah, so I really make big circles. Oh, feels so good. Ah, pause and go the opposite direction. Ah. 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 And then I kind of wiggle my hips side to side, side to side, and I'm sitting back on my heels, and I get my little toes under. They might need a little help, and then I sit up. My tail goes down. I don't want to lift my... Um, booty up. I want to keep my tail down, my ribs, and I'm going to roll my inner arms out and I sit here and breathe. And it can be super painful. So I just took a long hike today and oh, I can feel this in my feet. Soft shoulders. Loose jaw. Loose head and neck. Ah. Now we're really opening the bottoms of those feet, the soles of our feet, ah, to root down. Ah. All right, when you've had enough, just come forward and use those toes and tap them out. Mm. Feels so good, right? Ah. And then just sit back and feel, oh my God. Like now my feet are very much awake. <laughs> I can really feel them and it feels really good. And so it is your work to wake up your feet, to open your feet and ground down into what you love. It'll keep you rooted during these times. And we all really need that. So do this little practice this week. And then I've got a whole practice on the Ageless, move, um, ageless Movement Practices on agelessmovemore.com. And you can really, really get this idea of grounding down into what you love. All right. Thanks for being with me. Bye.